the laws of the occupied state. So the Council of Regency had to set in motion or grease the wheels for compliance. Because to administer the laws of 1893 will throw this place into economic chaos. So in 2014, the Council of Regency proclaimed our proclamation provisional laws. So all laws that have been illegally imposed here since Far back as 1887, the Bayonet Constitution. But let's just use 1893. All laws today, state, federal, county, will continue to be the provisional laws of the Hawaiian Kingdom, so long as these laws do not run contrary to the letter, spirit, and intent of Hawaiian Kingdom law. Okay? And we actually came up with a formula on how to determine that. Okay, So that means the laws are still here. There's no chaos. But... The laws of 1893 still apply, right? Three laws that Native Hawaiians will greatly benefit from. In 1893, since 1859, the Hawaiian legislature has been allocating monies to Queens Hospital as a quasi-public hospital for universal health care for all Native Hawaiians at no charge. That's the law. Okay. So that means once the military government is established, every Native Hawaiian, free health care. Uh, I'm down for that. Second law, Kuleana Act of 1850, not repealed, still existed in 1893. Any Native Hawaiian can acquire up to 50 acres of government land at 50 cents an acre. Inflation calculator, $20. That's a law today. Okay, so Native Hawaiian today, once on the, the laws of the Hawaiian Kingdom begin to administer, be administered, free health care, land, hmm. cost of living, everything drops. Hmm. Second, a law in the kingdom says the residents of subdivisions within an island like Ahupua'a and Ilikupono, they have exclusive, exclusive fishing access from low water mark out to the, f the first reef, or if no reef, like in Marmanalo, one mile, exclusive. That means people from around the island cannot come into that area to do their own fishing. No, it's, you gotta fish where you live, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Oh, wow, a lot of people, a lot of locals are taking their boats to Molokai and poaching over there. In fact, there was a case called the Molokai Fisherman case. And uh, there was some fighting going on. How's that? On the Hawaiian law, those Molokai fishermen were right. Now, the way in which they took the law into their own hands, that was, that was a problem, <laughs> right? But they were right. And then everyone has right to fish past the one mile mark out to 200 miles. Exclusive. That's called the exclusive economic zone. Foreign countries cannot fish within that 200-mile radius around the islands. Who in their right mind is not going to support that if you're a native Hawaiian? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a bill that somebody would um, try to put into office and then it gets denied. Because <laughs> it's an illegal system anyway. And here it is. It's a law. It's what's on the record. Mm -hmm. So by name calling and all that, and then when it happens... Let's say Jamaica gets free health care. Mm -hmm. It was, he didn't do anything to help with that, but she definitely benefited mm -hmm. it, benefited from it. So that's fine to me because that's my kuleana. I'm not here to convince everybody, but I'm here to make right. 